All right, Coach. Uh, three matches to seven against the Buckeyes. Uh, they're missing a couple of their All-American national champs. Uh, but, you know, Drod James, he looks pretty good. Tudelo looks pretty good. Um, Sparkman with a huge win over Jake Ryan. Yep. So, you're a young team. Um, you guys haven't gone three and seven with them in a while. No. Um, we have a young team, and I, yeah, I don't know if we win three matches if they have all their guys. Probably on paper we win at least one for sure, then you never know with the other ones. But um, we're a young team. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to take our lumps, and we're going to hopefully shine at some point. So you never – he's got he's to keep fighting. Like I said, it gets better and better. There were a few weeks ago when we were watching, I'm like, man, some of these guys don't know how to wrestle. So it's gotten better. We just got to stay persistent with our training. Uh, in looking at it, you know, you have nine matches to one against Cleveland State. They got a young team too. Um, what do you think you guys take away from tonight? Well, I, I think it was great to have some of these kids like Corey Simpson. This is the largest crowd he's ever wrestled in except for the state tournament. And the state tournament's just a little different environment. So he loved it. Um, I think you just take away that you, you, you have to learn, you learn to wrestle with, with people watching. A little bit of pressure. Like I said, it's the first home match for a kid. For, you know, we had kids that were their first home matches ever in this facility. And some of them came out with a pretty good. I was pretty happy with how we competed overall. I like the event with the wrestlers and business to the side. Yeah. Had about 4,000, 5,000 people in the Actually, building. Actually, we had about a little bit over 3,000 people. 3,000 people. Yep. It looked pretty good, though. It did. And as I go, this, I pretty much, not, I think our staff pretty much set this up. This isn't one, something that the administration did. It was something that I've been bugging our athletic department to do for the last two or three years. They finally said yes. I pretty much told them how I want to do it, and it was a, it was a constant battle. And we got, we got it done, and I think... I was more worried about the event than I was about our wrestling. I let the kind of coaches worry about the wrestling aspect. But once we started wrestling, it, you know, it was what it was, in our, and it was a great, great turnout. It was the largest wrestling crowd I think we've ever had. In looking at the match with Sparkman and Ryan, yep. he's losing that match. He came back and won the yep. match. Yep. So, you know, that's a guy who, obviously, Ryan's got national tournament experience. Yep. Um, he's a top 20 guy. You don't have any guys ranked in the top 20. I don't know if you guys have ever had... Tudor Lewis. He just got ranked this week. Snuck in, huh? Snuck in. Um, he, you know, he misses a, a key matchup with, uh, you know, Tomasello tonight. Yeah. But in looking at it, you know, this is the lowest you guys have been it's in a young, really long time. It's the youngest team we've ever had. Youngest. I don't want to call it the lowest because we've got, I think, seven guys that have never wrestled varsity before. So it's like the MAC rankings. My, my, my administrator goes, well, why are you guys ranked last? I'm like, because what they do is they just push everyone up the place last year. We only have three returning starters. So we have seven guys that never wrestled before. I think we have some pretty good guys. I think it'll show. It's just going to take us some time. You know, there's been many years that we start off and we know we have guys that are good, but we have to work into the rankings. I think this is the type of team that by the end of the year, if they continue to progress like they have in the room, I think we'll be fine. I don't think it'll be one of our, our, our better teams, but I think next year or the year after that, when all these guys start to get a little bit older and we add some more young talent, we'll be a better team. Right now, we're going to, like I said, we're going to struggle with some weight classes, and other weight classes, we're, we're expecting Tudelo to, to, to be a top 10 guy. We're expecting Drod James to, to be a top 10 guy. Um, we're expecting our heavyweight to figure out how to get to the national tournaments. We think our 97 pounder can be pretty good. Um, we think when Canal comes back, he can fit in there somewhere. So it's just a matter of just getting all our guys and, and getting some of our younger guys to the point where they can compete at this level. So you said it. Sounds like Kyle Canal will be back. He's on a team. He's on a roster. It's just right now just working through some, some administrative things. So we, we could definitively see him in a singlet again? Yeah. If, if, at this point, if we don't see him in a singlet at some point, I'll be a little disappointed. Um, I think it's more of just waiting for the semester to, to work itself through. And um, probably in early December, we'll probably see him at some point or another, hopefully. All right. Um, in looking at it, where are we going to see you guys next? You going to Vegas? Going to Vegas. What do you want these guys to get out of Vegas? Like I said, I think we had some guys that can place. I think last year we had two placements, maybe three. I don't remember. Two of them were all Americans. I know, but like I said, we had guys that place. I think if we could get two or three guys to place, the guys that I think we can, I'd walk out there being pretty happy. I think we could have some guys go 0-2 at the same point, and those are the ones we have to continue working with and, and continue practicing with. We're when's a young your, team. When's your first MAC duel? First MAC duel will be Buffalo the weekend. And they're like way improved. Yes, the weekend after Vegas, we go to Buffalo on that Sunday. So. We'll, we'll get a good idea where we're at, I think, when we wrestle Buffalo at Buffalo, which we traditionally haven't wrestled well at their place. So, um, young team, though, I don't, I don't know if that'll phase them. We'll just have to go there and see how we do. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? That's it. Good luck. Great event tonight. Enjoy your turkey. You got it. Thank you.